so what's your advice for young Africans to help them contribute their little quota to their community? I know, I know we have talked about it a, a, a little bit, but give young people something to, to work, work on so that they can contribute to, to their community. Okay, um, thank you. Um, just a quick one. Find something and bury yourself into. Find a cause. Find a purpose. Bury yourself into it early enough. Early enough. It, it, you know, it doesn't, your education is not the issue. It is your willingness to learn something. Yeah. If you give, if you give, uh, <clears throat> Uh, your, uh, six months to yourself into learning something new, you would have a skill. So when I meet young men, I talk to them. I said, I ask you, do you have a skill? You said, no. Some I meet, do you have a skill? They say, yes. But they are not making money, but they have a skill. This one doesn't have a skill. It's simple. If you don't have a skill, go and learn a skill. Money is an exchange for value rendered. Yeah. If you're not rendering any value, you won't get any money. Don't expect money. Yeah. Find something, and it's very easy. There are skills, high paying skills you can learn in three months. Now, if you've learned a skill and you don't have something, money, your job, you probably graduated from your, le from your learning rope early. Go find a mentor. Yeah. And follow that mentor. Don't look for money. You know what's going to happen after a while? The mentor will get so busy that he will start pushing you to do those jobs. Yeah. And what are you doing? You're building your network as well. After a while, there are jobs your mentor will stop collecting. He will start passing to you. Very Don't good. wake up one day and think that you're just going to become Dangote overnight. So in other words, in summary, learn a skill. If you have a skill, you're not earning money, go work with someone that is doing well. Give yourself to it, and after a while, you will be established. In, order, in, in, in a nutshell, be teachable yeah. at every stage of your life. Very good. I have Very a mentor. I have mentors today, and I have people that... See, my greatest strength is in being able to be vulnerable. Yeah. And I keep saying that. Mm. Being able to reach out to you and say, I'm trying to do this. I'm lost. I don't know how to go about it. And so when we're building our marketing team, even though I had done sales, but I had to learn the organizational approach to doing sales and building a sales team. Mm. You know, I reached out to people. I, I code message them. You know, when you're feeling like closing the startup, get expert opinions. There are people who have gone through your challenges. Talk to them. At the end of the day, people who, are, who constituted my board advisors at Edumens were people I reached out at the early stage when I was having challenges. So a few of them took interest and they've been advising. And I make sure that I get on call with them weekly, monthly. This is what I'm doing. What, what do you think? And so I give them my strong arguments. They give me their, their, their strong dis disagreements. And at the end of the day, it's for my good. You must yeah. avail yourself to be helped, to be helped. I've wow. seen some people, they don't have anything they are doing, but you can't even help them. Like you're saying, they must be willing to be mentored. You can't oh, help yeah. them because, because you're not doing well. Why don't you just drop some of those things you think is right and learn from somebody who has results, even if you think what he's telling you is foolish. Yes, just, just, just do it and see. Just try it. Yeah. You know, there's a guy that I learned marketing from a lot, Richard Bronson. He said, oh yeah. If he registers with a mentor that he has a philosophy, because the mentor said it, I'm going to do it. Yes. So you don't go to a doctor and doctor say, you're going to take one adult for cure, to cure your headache. You say, no, doctor, I can't take one adult. I, I, I'm going to take water. Why did you go to a doctor in the first place? Exactly. Yeah, take water. <laughs> <laughs> interesting, interesting, interesting. 